Welcome to week two, unit three, test driven development. And we will now explain the exercise on test driven development uh, with the money machine. Yeah, so now it's time for you to practice what we looked at before and just to get some feeling for the cycle, how that feels, how that works. And, but it's gonna also getting a little more complicated. So this actually is not just as simple as the, the one that we had before, and this is why we want to explain it in a little more detail. So your job is to write a function that is called get change, which returns the highest possible euro notes and euro coins for a given amount, which means you're not just giving a number back, but like really the real change. So you have probably a table, and we'll come to that. And the main point, of course, of the exercise is to practice the TDD cycle. So uh, it's not about the logic, even though it's also not so trivial anymore, but about practicing TDD. Yeah. And then here on the right side, uh, we give you some details, uh, information you need in order to uh, implement the solution. And uh, first of all, what coins do we have in Euro? So one and two. So what kind of, uh, or what values of uh, Euro notes do we have? And then, um, yeah, our get change method input type uh, should be an integer, so you give an amount in. And the return type should be a table, and the table definition is at actually uh, written here, so it's not a data dictionary type. Uh, you should use this inline type, so actually you can just uh, type it from here, uh, take that one. Um, and um, yeah, so input, output, that's written here. And then we also give you a hint what you should uh, test. Um, I mean, you can take these values. You can also make up uh, values on your own. But at least the cases we list here should uh, also somehow be covered. And um, yeah, that's, that's the point here. And very important, test-driven development. Right. Yeah, It's not that you get it very quick and working, but mm -hmm. it should be for you the time to practice test-driven development. Right, so that means really think about this maybe super reflective, think about what am I doing, am I really writing the test first, am I writing down maybe, the, like you said, the, the logical cases, maybe as comments first, what do I need to cover, start with the test, always start in the test include, and work your way forward to uh, through the cases. Maybe you want to even copy those possible test values into the test include and, and work your way down that way. Yeah. So enjoy, and in the next unit, we'll review the solution. Yeah. See you then. See you then.